Uh, well, we landed in Warsaw, and I mean the airport was just like any other kind of airport. Uh, we went to the the main office of Gazetta, which was a nice building. I wasn't really sure what to think of Warsaw. It was I was I didn't know what to expect, um, but I didn't really have enough time there. I just got straight on the train to Gdansk. Well, actually, support and and then straight away. I mean, I'd had a long journey and I was tired, but. I, re I really wanted to experience the nightlife in Spock because everyone's telling me that it's a party town and it's amazing. So I got, I got in at, uh, after 11 and just went straight out to the bars, straight out right on the beach, uh, drinking in the clubs and yeah, it was, it was really good. I had great fun. I'd been, I'd been blogging before I came and asking people's opinion and everyone was telling me, oh, don't take the train, don't take the train, there'll be the works and the delays. But... Um, I decided to take the train, yeah, and it was a six and a half hour journey, but it was comfortable. The, the train had good air conditioning, I had lots of space. So people asked, people were saying to me, I was saying to them, the, tr the train journey was okay, it was all right, I enjoyed it. And they were shocked, and I was just saying it was on time, which is more than most trains are in England. I've studied history before at A-level, uh, so I've learned about the war and um, specifically to Gdansk being um, Danzig and the Free City and German rule, Polish rule. But as a whole, I didn't really have much of an idea about Poland. Like, I mean, obviously people know that a lot of Polish people are working in the UK, but um, I haven't, I've worked with one Polish person and they seem nice. People are telling me that the stereotypes are pessimistic and complaining a lot. Um, I mean, so far everyone's been really friendly, really welcoming. But in in reference to football, which is, I mean, the Euros next year, the main thing reason why we're here, people are slightly pessimistic about the na national team, saying they're just going to lose all their games. So, but but I mean, yeah, before I came, Poland, I I just I knew that it was historical with the war, but specifics I didn't have a clue. So I came here completely open-minded. Gdansk. I knew the name before I came. Um, support Gdynia I didn't know so much, but I mean, I got on Facebook and was talking to people and they're all telling me that support is party town. So I, heard, I had a, quite a good expectation of it before I came and it, it lived up to it, it was really good. Uh, Gdansk, yeah, like I say, just the history, the uh, architecture, the old buildings, they're really, really pretty. I really like it so far. Um, but apart from that, I didn't really know a lot. I didn't know what to expect. Lots of Polish people are coming to work in the UK, so that's the only view they get of them. But as for stereotypes, I mean, people have told me pessimistic and a little bit complaining. But I mean, like I say, I've been here only uh, two and a bit days now and everyone's welcoming me. I've made new friends already and everyone's shown me a good time. So what stereotypes I thought possibly, I don't think are true there. The Polish people have seemed really nice. Gdansk is a beautiful city, uh, there's some really lovely buildings, I've seen the shipyards, uh, there's some great sites, some great things to see. Um, I, don't know, I don't know what to expect, people have told me it's, uh, Poland as a country is modernising, trying to do 20 years worth of modernising in like five and really trying to push it and I mean some of the places remind me of home sometimes but I mean it is really unique. Like I was trying to think of places I've been um, whilst walking around that I can say I like it, but it's it's a mixture. Like you'll see some really uh, old, nice buildings, then you'll see some modern things as well. So I mean, I've I've been to the New Camp in Barcelona. I've been to the Ajax Arena in Amsterdam. I've seen Wembley. I think the PG Arena it is special. The when as soon as we got there. The sun just came out and shined on the the amber, and it was it was really good. And I had a tour, went onto the went well onto the pitch, but down to the pitch level, uh, which was which was really good. It's making me want to play football. Uh, I wish I could go see a game there, but I don't think I will be able to. But maybe one day. One of the quarterfinals is in Gdansk. I'm not sure if the group allows it, but I mean, as an English, this is maybe one of the main differences between English and Polish. We every time think, oh, England, we're going to win, we're going to win. Uh, so uh, hopefully, you never know. I think I was talking to people earlier and they were saying 
uh, that the Netherlands or Spain are going to be playing their group games in the PG Arena. And I think, I mean, the Netherlands fans are known to be really, really, really good. Great atmosphere, great passion. And I think it will do well for that stadium. So pot. Well, it's party, 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 isn't it? That's what everyone's telling me. Uh, yeah, I mean, first night I got into support. Uh, we went straight out to the bars, the clubs, got in at gone five in the morning. It was great. It was a great night. It's really good. I mean, the, the busy cent center, central street is reminding me of Leicester Square in England a little bit with bars and clubs everywhere, people outside. Um, but yeah, it was a great place to be. The people all seemed really nice. I enjoyed it. For the mission 21, people have been recognising me, one or two people, so that's been really strange. Um, as for Poland in general, surprises and shocks. Uh, it was weird getting off of the uh, the main station in Gdansk and seeing McDonald's and KFC straight away was quite strange. I, w I mean, if people will hear about Central Europe um, and Eastern Europe. We're, I know we're not in Eastern Europe, but Central Europe and they think, oh, maybe some strange food and everything, but you can see influences from the West, but then you can also see the unique and, uh, I mean, like I say, the, the pretty buildings and everything, so it's it's been really good. Yeah. If you get the chance to come and see, I mean, I can only speak for Gdansk, Gdynia support, because uh, that's where I've been. If you get the chance, definitely come and see it. It's worth it, despite... I mean, sometimes maybe you hear Poland and you don't really know what to think, so you think maybe boring, bleak, you don't know what you're going to expect, but it is really good. It's been really interesting and I've loved it.